good morning and welcome to the Karen Family Diaries. Me and the kids are going out for a walk, so I thought I would do the, our bugaboo, Wait a minute. our bugaboo donkey duo review. I've been saying I was going to review it for a while, so I said while we're going for a walk, I'd review it and show you how it works and what I think of it. I see a lot of buggy reviews on buggies that are ta or prams that are taken right out of the box and they're reviewed like a couple of days later, and I kind of think like. You don't have time to get to know your pram and whether you really love it or not. So we've had this pram for four and a half years. So I can definitely vouch for it. It has been used. I have three kids under five. So it's been used with a baby, a newborn and a toddler. Well, two babies really. And now it's being used with a preschooler and a, to and a newborn. Um, so yeah. I'll show you it. <laughs> what I love about the, don the Bugaboo Donkey Duo is that the seats move up and down really easily and you can also unclip them and turn them around really easily as well. So say if the sun is in their face going a certain direction on the walk you can turn them around and then when you're walking the opposite direction turn them around again really easily. Um, there's also a basket that goes at the bottom of the pram, which I have misplaced when we were moving, <laughs> so I need to find that. But it's really handy, you can fit loads of stuff in it. And it's really lightweight, so it doesn't make the pram any heavier. It's really easy to collapse it from like um, a double stroller into a single stroller, and then you have the little additional basket at the side, which is super handy. Um, and loads of people comment on it when we're out, when we have it at, as the bugaboo say mono. Um, with the little thing, they think the basket's just super handy. Um, and I seen someone with that with that pram when I was pregnant with Eddie Oak, and I thought it was brilliant. But I didn't invest in it. We bought a cheaper pram <laughs> and regretted it, and ended up switching to the Bugaboo Donkey Duo when I found out I was pregnant with Noni. So we should have just bought the <laughs> better pram at the beginning. Um, the wheels are great. You have to, you pump them up sometimes. They're not foam tires. They are uh, pumpable ones air tires I don't know what you call them but I really like them um they're the first pram we got like within six months the foam tires were nearly destroyed in the, the pram we the first pram we got this one I mean four and a half years later they're perfect also a really nice pram I don't like the double buggies where one kid is like sitting on top of another or one is sitting underneath or like the opposite direction I don't know I just don't like those ones where they're on top of each other or like one in front of another. I like them both to be able to see whatever way they're facing and not be just looking at the back of the other kid. <laughs> um, so the only thing we were worried about with the side by side buggies is they're so wide. But the Bugaboo Donkey Duo isn't that wide. And most shop doors, even boutique doors, front doors of houses, it can get through like it might be a bit tight but it can get through all of them so we haven't had an issue with it um and i mean we've taken it traveling we've been to loads of different countries with it so i can't remember a time where we couldn't get through a door <laughs> so it is it is narrow enough that it can get in and out of lots of places this is an expensive pram it's not cheap but if you are into like if you want to be out all the time with the buggy if you've got a couple of kids um, I can't tell you how many times me and Eddie have said I'm so glad we spent the extra money on this buggy. Um, so that's just my review. Um, I know when you're looking at prams and especially now when you can't, not everywhere is open yet and you can't get in to look, physically look at the prams. Um, I thought it'd be a good time to do a review because I know I would like to hear from someone who has used it and used it a lot and see what they think. The only slight issue there is with it is now after some wear and tear, um, the foot brake can be a little sticky, but it's not, it doesn't even annoy me. Sometimes you'll, un, you know, you'll flick it up and you'll go to go when it hasn't gone. So you just flick it again and it goes. Um, so it's not broken or anything. It's just a little bit sticky. And that's, you know, after a lot of use. That's all, it gets a thumbs up from me. I'm so glad we bought it. Um, I just love it so much and I purposely I was going to clean it up for this video so it looked all nice and shiny and new but then I thought oh just that look how it is it is used it is well used so you can get a sense that you know I'm not just saying oh we use it all the time but it looks brand spanking new we do use it all the time 
and also um we have a steam cleaner so we and that's also if you're having kids <laughs> invest in a steam cleaner we bought one for about 120 30 bucks um in australia and it's great for your couch for anything basically your car anything that gets really grubby with kids the steam cleaner just makes them come up like brand new um and when we steam clean that every few months um the pound just comes up like like new so you know it's good quality it's not falling apart um and it cleans up really well so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give this a thumbs up and uh, let me know down in the comments if you are planning on buying a buggy or if you've had a buggy in the past did you love it or what annoyed you about it <laughs> because the first buggy i got there was so many things that annoyed me about it um yeah and subscribe to our channel if you're not already and we'll see you in the next one bye thanks for filming me <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job <laughs>